to the story of the 1972 Dolphins is not only about football itself, with vigorous practice, sacrifice, blood, sweat, tears, and star players, but mostly about a family who sticks together each and every single day. Even with the arrival of new teammates included in the same position, such as Murky Morris, they still bonded and put the team first before their stats and fame. Most of the teammates will go out for a couple of drinks where they can talk and bond together, which obviously happened before the start of the regular season. Some prefer to find time to relax and do their hobbies. The coach Don Shula was unaware of what his players did. He wanted the most out of his players, which was considered a madman due to his frantic calls during practice and during games. Since Don Shula's signing as Miami's head coach, most home games were sold out in the Orange Bowl. Coach Don Shula was such a unique and great coach that he gave unwanted players chances, such as free agents and undrafted rookies who were considered undersized, slow, unathletic, too old, or even weak. Most of the players were so committed into being the best players they can be, they stayed hours after practice going over their assignments and steps on the field and in the film room. They were so committed they did it each and every single day. Some even became future Hall of Famers. When the team's star quarterback, Bob Greasy, was injured, everyone stepped up and worked double preparing for each game. Even backup quarterback, Omo, took the team behind his back to the playoffs before the return of Bob Greasy from his knee injury. Some players consider Omo too old to play, but he proved everyone wrong due to his performance in 72. Some players even sacrificed their health and bodies just to be with their teammates during game day. Winning and reaching their goals was the team's mission. Though some players didn't get along and had different goals in mind, they still contributed to the team. Since some players had two jobs, which was football and what they didn't decide, due to them not being paid enough and the time before NFL contracts paid millions of dollars to be a player, those players had very little sleep but managed to reach their goals through commitment and support. Even when the team made it to Super Bowl 7, they didn't celebrate until a victory was secured. As a result, it was achieved and the team reached the top of the hill being number one, not only in NFL but in football history, for being the first and only team to go undefeated and win the Super Bowl. It was such a great achievement to the team that they celebrate each anniversary with a toast for being the only team in NFL history being undefeated. Read the inspiring true story, so perfect, the author story of the 1972 Dolphins, to read more what it takes to be number one not only as a team and family, but as an individual in life.